In now with uh, Tim Deegan to talk about what all of you in St. John's County can expect in the next coming hours. You bet. Jessica's in St. John's. We're going to include Flagler as well because a similar scenario. By the way, uh, if we're going to continue on this unusual scenario with facts, how about once Nicole makes landfall within a few hours, it's going to be the farthest north a hurricane has ever made landfall in Florida or the U.S. East Coast since we named hurricanes. Okay, these numbers have not changed much, but we are looking for the worst of the combination with the high tide during the morning hours. It'll be much like Ian with winds reaching their highest gusts of 65 in the St. John's and Flagler County area, especially along the coast between 4 and 10 in the morning. I thought Jessica painted the picture of why we're most concerned when the heavy rains fall when the tides are high, because obviously if we get five to 10 inches of rain tomorrow morning during the time where the water's coming up through the drains, well, that paints the picture of what's going to happen in other counties as well. And we'll do that for you in just a few moments.